Welcome to the Tennessee Titans franchise on Madden 23. Today, the 2022 season gets underway with the Titans hosting the New York Giants as we kick this franchise off. It's great to be back making franchise content here again. And if you're excited for this series, please hit that like button. It's very helpful if you do and subscribe to the channel. There'll be much more on the way as we get this series started up with game one. Now, when it comes to this Tennessee Titans team, they have made the playoffs the last three years, but I do think there are going to be some challenges this year and I think they will go as far as Derrick Henry can take them, especially considering this offense no longer having A.J. Brown. Henry missed a lot of time last year, and we're hoping this season he stays healthy and leads this offense alongside new wide receiver Robert Woods, the veteran who will be the number one target in the passing game, helping mentor Traylon Burks, the first round pick, helping replace A.J. Brown, and Ryan Tannehill, the veteran quarterback, is back again in what is a really big season for him. There has to be a lot of pressure on Tannehill coming off his worst of his three seasons in Tennessee, and the Titans spent their third round pick on Malik Willis. Defensively, I like the two superstars on this side of the football. Kevin Byard, the ball hawk in the back end, should help make a lot of plays for this secondary. Jeffrey Simmons, I see being the defensive MVP, disrupting everything up front. But this defense needs more. Who else is capable of taking that next step this year to help this Titans defense, especially after losing Harold Landry just before week one? Their top edge rusher is now done for the season, putting even more pressure on those two stars. But as we look to get this season underway, this team's identity starts with Derrick Henry in the backfield. We want to establish the running game and try to find a way to build a passing game around Traylon Burks, Robert Woods, and Austin Hooper. The Giants offense will be a new look scheme this year with head coach Brian Dable, and we'll see what that means for Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones Traylon Burks, Roger McCreary, and Malik Willis will be the focus players to start the year as we get our first upgrades in as well. A nice one here, playmaker upgrade for Nick Westbrook Akine. And then Lonnie Johnson Jr., the backup safety, getting a boost here to tackling and coverage. And cornerback Ugo Amadi with a solid upgrade. Let's play some football now. The Tennessee Titans start at home against the New York Giants. And of course, it's the head coaching debut for Hayden John Charles. We'll see how his offense looks, but we're going to see the offense of Brian Dayball up first. He got his first head coaching opportunity after doing a brilliant job in Buffalo with their offense the last few years with Josh Allen. And this organization wants to see what he can do for Daniel Jones. Richie James is back deep for the Giants. Here is Randy Bullock getting the 2022 season underway. From the end zone, Richie James across the 20 making moves and trying to find his way past the 30 yard line. He is stopped there. And here he comes. It's a big year for Daniel Jones. No more excuses. They've invested in the offensive line. They've invested in playmakers and now brought in the head coach specifically to get the most out of him. Year four for Jones underway as they go spread out. Empty backfield for the Giants. First play of the season. Jones has time. Looking deep on the first play of the season. Caught by Tony downfield. Kadarius Tony hauls it in at the 12-yard line as he was matched up with Kevin Byard, and he was in a tough spot. Two verticals on his side, and he ends up being in position but just can't make a play on the ball. What a call for Brian Dayball. First play of the year to go after the first-round pick of a year ago and try to make a big play. Red zone trip for the Giants. Jones first and 10. Tony's there. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Giants. In two plays, there's more excitement from this Giants offense than the entire Joe Judge era. What a start. 
And that silences the crowd here in Nashville as we will see this Titans offense now down seven out of the end zone. Dontrell Hilliard working back to the left and there's just nowhere to go. He is shy of the 20. And here comes the offense. Ryan Tannehill, fourth year with the Tennessee Titans, has two years under contract still, and he's 34 years old. There are questions about this passing game, but we're expecting great things from number 22 in the backfield. First and 10, Tennessee. Everyone's surprised. First play for the Titans is a Derrick Henry run and a gain of five. They start with two tight ends on the field, run it to the right side, Henry cutting back, gets the first down, shoves away the defender and has himself at the 36 yard line. 13 yards for Derrick Henry. Expect them to favor that right side of the line, but they'll try left now and Henry grinds his way ahead, gain of six, really establishing what this offense is all about. But now the first pass of the year, it's complete. Tannehill to Robert Woods, only a gain of two, and now third down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They do stick with the running game, and Henry is trapped. He cannot get there. Kayvon Thibodeau in on the stop, and the Titans will have to punt on their first possession. And they have a rookie punter this season, Ryan Stonehouse. The rookie boots it away for the first time. It's a Dory Jackson with a lane across the 40, and he is still on his feet in Titans territory until they get him at the 45. Excellent run back, and the Giants take over. They go empty again. Daniel Jones is going down. Ola Adeniyi, fourth-year player, replacing Harold Landry. He gets his first sack going up against Andrew Thomas. Very nice play. That brings up second down. Keeping it here, Daniel Jones up to the 46. Maybe five yards, and it's third and long. Titans drop eight. Nobody open. Jones lost the football, but it stays with New York. More pressure. Simmons the first there, but there was a big meeting here at the quarterback, and they're lucky that wasn't a takeaway. Titans take over at the 11 yard line. More Derrick Henry, get out the way. He's in the open field across the 30, running through Jackson until he's hit down at the 40. This is what Derrick Henry is all about and why you can't just count this team out. He is that special. Adrian Peterson carried lesser Vikings teams. Derrick Henry can do the same if necessary. Play fake. Tannehill in trouble, but there's Austin Hooper, his first catch as a Titan. I think he'll have a very big role in this passing game as well, depending on how long it takes for these receivers to come along. Quick pass, penalty marker down. Was a nice first down pass to Woods, and they will tack on an extra 15, roughing the passer on Leonard Williams, slamming Tannehill down late. Up to the 22-yard line. Inside, Henry. And a good push once again. He gets four. Three tight ends are on the field. Running to the right side. They open a lane. And Henry converts on third and short. I'd say he's earned a rest. In comes the rookie, Hassan Haskins. And he's in trouble. Wrapped up in the backfield. And never had a chance on this play. Welcome to the NFL, Hassan Haskins. 2.34 to play in the opening quarter. Giants drop out and get the pressure on Tannehill anyway. Aziz Ojulari. And it's third and long. This team is not built for third and long, I promise you that. Tannehill short to Nick Westbrook Akine with a solid effort up to the five. And they'll bring out Randy Bullock. First try of the year, 22 yards. And Tennessee is on the board, 7-3. to three. First quarter winding down, and now the Giants open at their 23. Barkley is hit down. Second defender got him. It's a gain of five. Barkley didn't look like himself last year. We'll see how he plays this season as that catch is made. 
And that was Galladay. Third and one. They fake it. And Jones has Barkley. Now he makes Caleb Farley miss. And he's up to the 40. Nice play for Barkley. New set of downs continuing to spread out the defense. Jones looking long again. Caught by Tony. Off to the races. Touchdown, New York. Up top again to the second year receiver out of Florida. Beating Christian Fulton on the play this time. And Tony is showing that he is a real problem this year. He showed potential last year as a gadget player and just a unique athlete. Brian Dable might be getting a lot more out of him this year. It's 14-3. Derrick Henry's off to a good start, but this team needs touchdowns. It'll be Henry to start the drive. Running left to the 21. And we do not want to see this. Nate Davis coming out of the game. He is... The best young offensive lineman this team has, and he's why the right side is going to be our preferred side to run behind. Second down, pressure on Tannehill, and he is sacked. It's Leonard Williams, and he's causing a lot of problems today. Third and 15 now for Tannehill. First catch of the career for wide receiver Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. Not enough there, fourth down. Giants look great to start the season here in the second quarter. It's Barkley. Broke a tackle and into the secondary. Good run. They haven't ran it much, but Barkley's look good on his touches. Spreading out the defense again. And that's a rookie tight end stepping in. Daniel Bellinger gain of five. Galladay on the inside. Third and four. There's Tony underneath. Making moves, and he is so dangerous after the catch. He's off to a wonderful start in his sophomore season. Off play action now. Jones in trouble. Going down deep in the backfield. It's Jeffrey Simmons. A loss of 13 to throw off some momentum. Now third and 17. Jones, time to throw. He continues to retreat, now fires downfield and overthrows Bellinger. And it appears they're going to let Graham Gano try this. Now a 59-yarder. Gano has a strong leg, and this kick is no good. It went just wide to the left. And that gives Tennessee a good place to start this drive down 11. Pass caught, Westbrook Akine, first down to the 39. 4.47 to go in the first half. Henry right side, no Nate Davis, no running room. Out of the shotgun, second and 10. Here's the blitz. Pass caught, Jeff Swaim up to the 32-yard line. Tannehill still perfect in the air. Third and three. Wide open, Austin Hooper taking Tennessee into the red zone. They bring the fullback into the game now. It's a play action, and it's floated. That is Torrey Carter, second-year fullback, making the catch. Everybody getting involved in the passing game today. Staying in the offset eye. Henry trying to go off tackle and is not able to. As we have another player down for Tennessee, and now it's the left guard, Aaron Brewer. Two backup guards are in the game. We give it to Henry anyway, and he gets the first down. Sometimes you just got to trust him. And the Titans go with tempo here. Quickly back to the line. Henry through initial contact and into the end zone. First touchdown of the season goes to Derrick Henry. And he had to earn every inch of this run. He is so much fun to watch. Great first half for Derrick Henry. It is 14-10 as the Titans try to finish this first half strong. Pass caught by Tony. He gets away. 13 yards. Somebody's got to make a play in coverage against him. They fake it to Barkley on second down. Jones in trouble, and he's drilled. That was Bud Dupree who beat the tight end Daniel Bellinger on that play. Not Evan Neal, the tackle. Third and 13. 
A screen for Barkley. Getting blocks. He's got the first down. And the Giants extend the drive. Missed opportunity there for Tennessee. Giving up that long catch and run. A minute 17 on the clock. Jones underneath. Tony ahead to the 37. Here's that empty look again. And Jones has handled it well. Underneath, Galladay. He is inside the 30. Maybe you thought Galladay would be the team's top target today, but it's certainly been Kadarius Tony. Second down. Jones deep to the end zone, and this time it's out of bounds. Better coverage that time. And they will bring out the field goal team with six seconds. Now it's a 43-yard try. And Graham Gano extends the Giants' lead right ahead of halftime, 17-10. And the story to this point has to be the aggressiveness and big plays out of this Giants passing game. I'm not sure anybody really expected that. And they've beaten Kevin Byard and Christian Fulton on deep balls. Meanwhile, around the NFL, Colts and Texans, two division rivals. The Colts pick up the week one win. Big day for Jonathan Taylor. And then with Jacksonville traveling to Washington, Trevor Lawrence with five touchdowns. Already looking better than year one. The division schedule opens in week four against the Colts. And they are also the second division opponent we have. It'll be a while before we see the Jaguars. Second half underway, 73 rushing yards to this point for Derrick Henry as he adds a few more. But now, without Nate Davis at right guard, how do they adapt? A run inside, Henry, five more yards, that's a first down. Two receivers to the right side, now a fake, in trouble, Tannehill is picked off! And it is the rookie edge rusher, that's Kayvon Thibodeau! as Aaron Brewer looks to be shaken up, but Jeff Swaim runs into a block and isn't there to help bail out Tannehill as he was trying to get rid of it. So short field, Giants caught on the outside, Kenny Galladay. Giants into the red zone looking to capitalize. On first down, Jones spins, Bellinger's there inside the five. Down to the one, a chance to go up multiple scores. And Aaron Brewer's day is done, so more challenges stacking up here for the Titans as the catch is made. Touchdown, Daniel Bellinger. And the New York Giants look rejuvenated offensively. Great game today for Daniel Jones. It is 24-10, and the pressure now on this Titans offense. There's Malik Willis. How long before he gets involved with the offense in some capacity? Well, Tannehill off the interception, just hands it off. Derrick Henry, gain of five. Now they go with two receivers, two tight ends again. Tannehill throwing short, and that's caught. Austin Hooper shy of the sticks. Fullback is in, and on third and one, Henry ahead. Second effort to make sure he gets it first down. Henry checks out. It is Hassan Haskins, and this time he does get out of the backfield to get one. Henry back in for second down and nine. Tannehill hit as he throws, and off the shoe tops, catch made by Austin Hooper to make it third and short. Three tight ends, Tennessee running left. It's Henry not getting there. There was a lane, but tried to go outside, and the Giants will get it back. Up 14, playing with the lead. There's Tony again. Just cannot slow him down at all. Jones on first and 10. Pressure's on. He throws it away, and there's a penalty marker. And they're going to get a Denny here, who continues to make an impact today, but... He hits Jones late. Both sides have a roughing the passer call now. As Jones connects, it's Galladay with a catch and run opportunity. Up to the 26. They have moved the ball so effectively today. And the catch made up to the 17 yard line. I think that's a first down. They're not even 
letting Barkley carry the ball much. Jones is playing well. They're sticking with him. Tony makes it close. Third down and inches. Jones to the air again with time. Here is Barkley escorted out of bounds by Bud Dupree. They will bring on the field goal team. But for a three-score lead, Graham Gano drills the 25-yarder. And the Titans now, down 17, really have to start throwing the ball a lot more. And they're not really built to play from behind like this, but a nice catch made by Robert Woods. Maybe you start to see some more tempo here, but this is not the comfort zone of the offense. Traylon Burks underneath fights his way up near the 40. They are going with some tempo now late third quarter as Derrick Henry grinds out the first down. Three receivers left. Hooper off to the right by himself. Third and nine. It's Burks making the catch. Nice play by the rookie up to the 31-yard line and more tempo out of this offense. Burks, Woods, Westbrook, Akine to the right side. Quick for Woods. Not much out there. Again, this three-by-one look for Tennessee. Pressure off the edge. Tannehill for Austin Hooper. And the catch is made at the 12. They're finding some openings. Now they set up the screen. Here is Derrick Henry with nobody home. Touchdown, Tennessee. Henry on the ground. Henry in the air. He scored twice. We have a two-score game. Titans not out of this quite yet. But they do have to make some plays now defensively. But it was at least promising there to see them have to completely change the plan to stay in the bowl game and be able to pull off a nine-play drive. Nice job there by Tannehill and company. But can the defense stop Daniel Jones? He's looked unstoppable today. Handoff, Saquon Barkley gets away from the first defender and sprints out of bounds near the first down marker. Inside nine minutes to play. Right side, Barkley shoves away Dupree. First down again. Barkley looks like his old self again. Two receivers on the field for New York as they give it to Barkley again, and that's just a good tackle by David Long. This is the most they've used Barkley all day. Blitzing, can't get pressure. Wide open is Tony. First down, Giants. They've gotten some hits on Daniel Jones, but the pressure has been very hit or miss. Jones, first down, feels the rush. Sideline incomplete. They've got to rattle him more in the pocket. Four on the rush. Jones kept clean. Caught by Tony. First down. What a day, and we do not want to see this. Jeffrey Simmons is down, and he is coming out of the game. We've already seen two offensive linemen leave. We cannot handle a Jeffrey Simmons injury. They run it right inside. Simmons is out of the game. No one home to stop Barkley. Touchdown, Giants. And the lead is back to three scores. What an offensive showcase today. And the Tennessee Titans just haven't had an answer. The offense has had some good moments. And that's good news there for Simmons. Doesn't appear to be serious. But they're down 17, six minutes left to go. Tannehill dumps it off to Derrick Henry, and that will go for about three yards. But now it's on the receivers again. Tannehill across the middle. Nice catch. Austin Hooper has been there for Tannehill today. He's played well. Short. Robert Woods catch and run, and that should be a first down. Operating with more tempo from midfield. Trying to step up, and down goes Tannehill. Only lost two on the play, but the clock will run inside four minutes, and it's third and 12. Leading the receiver, Woods can't hold on. Good coverage, and it's fourth and 12. Basically fourth in the ball game. Tannehill steps up, slings it complete. Traylon Burks makes the catch. Drive not over yet. At the 37-yard line. 
Check down through the hands of Derrick Henry, who will come out of the game. Three minutes left to go. Nice catch, Traylon Burks. It's not been a bad debut for him. He's caught pretty much everything thrown his way. First and ten, and this is dumped off, and there's the rookie running back. That is Julius Chestnut, and he is staying in the game. They give it to him now, and Chestnut finds some room here inside. He takes the Titans close to a first down. It's fourth down now, and they give it to Chestnut. He gets the first down and more, taking this into the end zone for his first NFL touchdown. The undrafted rookie, Julius Chestnut, out of sacred heart. He gets a chance, makes the most out of it, and now we're in a 10-point game. Randy Bullock will try the onside kick. This one is picked up, Sterling Shepard. And the Giants will have it. Titans do have all three timeouts to try and get the ball back, trailing by 10. A minute 45 to go. Barkley hit down immediately. Zach Cunningham. Third down, one timeout left. To the right side and stopped again by Cunningham. And Danico Autry a bit shaken up on the play. Been a tough day for injuries. Graham Gano. This is a 56-yard try, and it never had a chance. He pulled this one wide to the left, and the Titans will take over with their narrow chances remaining. No timeouts. 90 seconds down 10. Dumped off, and that's Julius Chestnut again. And now Derrick Henry's back in. This is third and three. Complete. Swaim shy of the sticks. It'll be fourth down. Clock running down to 43 seconds. Trying to get in scoring range again. And the pass incomplete. Burks had a chance, but tight coverage. Turnover on downs. And week one will go to the New York Giants. Pulling off the upset here on the road. What a showing for this new look offense with head coach Brian Dable as they defeat the Tennessee Titans 34-24. to It was not the debut we were hoping for to hopefully get this offense established behind Derrick Henry. We only did that for one half, but did not get enough from the defense with the New York Giants having an outstanding day on offense. A tough one for the Titans as they look ahead to their next matchup against the Buffalo Bills. That's not going to create a whole lot of confidence seeing Daniel Jones and the Giants play the way that they did 349 yards for Jones in three touchdowns, and we just could not get stops. We couldn't make plays against Kadarius Toney, who caught almost every ball targeted at him. Ten grabs, 221 yards, two touchdowns. There are still a couple things that we are trying to sort out with the sliders. I think that the set is like 90-95% there. But there are just a couple tweaks to create a bit more variance in the short passing game and to hopefully end up with a few more natural incompletions, not just throwaways or interceptions. It's a delicate balance in this game especially. But it was just a tough game. The running game was a lot of fun. I wish we could have leaned on it more, but we got game scripted out of it and had to start throwing. Now, as we look ahead to next week, we will be missing Nate Davis and Aaron Brewer for a while, so we will have to make some changes up front. Those are the two injuries coming out of that game. Third round rookie Nicholas Petit Frere will be playing at right guard. And then Dennis Daly will step in at left guard. And we'll see how they play against the Buffalo Bills. I imagine I'll have a couple of small slider tweaks for this next game. Matt Ten and I are finalizing some things with coverage, trying to create more deflections, but also not leading to too many interceptions. That's the difficult part, is trying to keep coverage tight without making it an interception fest. And today's game was on the high end as far as completion percentage that I've seen on this set. I've played games against Aaron Rodgers where it felt really good, and there were a lot more incompletions. Didn't play out in this instance, but we are hopefully close to getting more of a final set here. But I enjoyed this first game. 
The running game feels really fun and it feels balanced. Like the CPU running the way they did is not something I'm used to in Madden. Like Barkley feels like a true threat when he gets the ball. But I'm really excited to have this franchise underway, ready for more games. I will be importing a draft class into the franchise next episode, by the way. So if you start out just like the week one starting point, you will have the same draft class as anybody else doing the week one starting point. So I got into another franchise last night, generated a unique class, and then had my wife save it for me without me seeing any of the ratings. Because if you click on like the edit class to see the players, you'll see the top seven. So I had to generate a new class and I had my wife save it. So I never saw any ratings for any player and I'll have a unique class for this first year. One more thing, in this franchise, I'm not able to like just have the CPU control all 11 players on defense. I have to control somebody. So I'm playing only in the trenches and I'm not trying to like miss when I win like a pass rush move and get to the quarterback. Like sometimes I run past because I just think it's hard sometimes when you uh, have the quarterback like sidestep or whatever. I'll try to like after I win one of those interactions, maybe switch off so it plays out a bit more naturally. I know there were some instances there where I kind of ran past the quarterback and I'm not trying to do that, but uh, that's going to be the way the defense is handled. I'm not using anybody else. But I hope you enjoyed the first game of the Tennessee Titans franchise and are excited for more. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel, more coming your way next week. Have a great day everybody, I'll see you next time.